Hi, this is JJ at CCBC. In this video, we'll look at the pen tool in Flash. Major topics we'll cover are the pen tool, add anchor point, delete anchor point, and convert anchor point tools. The software I'll be using for this video is Adobe Flash Creative Suite version 6 on a Mac. Let's take a look at this. So here we have an empty Flash file. Again, I'm going to zoom in so I have more space to work with. And uh, we're going to use the pen tool to draw some vector shapes. So here's our pen tool. Let's uh, click and hold on it. And you'll notice there's multiple tools here. We have a pen tool, an add anchor point, delete anchor point, and convert anchor point tools all wrapped in one. So let's just start with the pen tool and then look at the other options. The way the pen tool works is it allows you to draw custom vector shapes by placing points on the stage uh, or anchor points. and um, as you place each anchor point, a path is drawn from the last anchor point to the new anchor point. So let's just make a simple triangle. If I click, there's a point, click, there's another point, click, there's another point. If I go back to the first point and click on it, I close that path. And so now I have a nice vector shape, a triangle. It's not perfect, um, it's not bad for doing it by hand. So that's how you start. Um, using the pen tool to create a shape. Now you might be asking, okay, this is all fine and well for straight lines, what if I want a curved pathway? Um, well, it's a different technique, so let's get rid of that. There we go. To make curved pathways, you click and drag to make a point, and you'll notice those Bezier anchors appear right away. So if I click and drag, there's a curved point click and drag again. You can already see the path being made. Repeat that process. And then back to the original point, I'm going to click and drag again because I want it to be curved into that point. Um, so here I've made sort of an egg-like shape. Um, I was trying to make a circle. It takes three points to define a circle. If I went in with the sub-selection tool, I could manipulate the angle of these curves a little bit to make it look more like a, a circle. Let's switch this this way. And then increase the amplitude here. You can get pretty close. It's not perfect, but that's what the circle tool is for, and the oval tool. Um, but that's how you can draw curved points as well as angled points. So a regular click will give you an angled point. Click and drag to make a curved point. Um, so once we've drawn this, what if we want to manipulate this shape? Um, so let's go back to our pen tool. We can, let's convert some anchor points. So to convert points, you just want to change them from angled to curved anchor points. Um, clicking on a curved point will turn it into a, an angled one. So you'll notice I can instantly turn my circle back into a triangle. If I click and drag, it turns that angled into a curved point. Right, so I can now be careful you don't do this. This will twist your shape. We don't want to do that. So drag in this direction and then drag in this direction. We have roughly we're back to our original circle. So I'm actually going to leave this as a triangle. And uh, let's add some new points. So let's add some anchor points. And I'm just going to drop an anchor point on the middle of each side. Right, so all you have to do is click anywhere on any of the paths and it'll instantly add a point. I can then take my sub-selection tool and make some simple edits to create an interesting shape. Right, so almost a, my polystar triangle tool. Um, the last thing I can do is delete points. So if I have some unwanted points in my shape, I can go in and delete them. So I'll use the delete. When you delete a point, it just redraws the path between the last two existing points. So if I delete this one, it goes back to that side. If I delete, actually I'll delete this one, it creates that shape. If I delete this one, it goes back to there. And I can always go back to my sub-selection tool to make changes as I see fit. So that's the basics of working with the pen tool. It's very simple in terms of uh, the process and what it does, but you can achieve some very complex shapes with some time and effort. Um, I've mentioned this before in a few other videos. I'm just showing you technique. Uh, the more that you work with these tools, it's just like handing somebody a pencil. They're not going to become a great 
artist until they spent a couple hundred hours working with a pencil uh, drawing different things. The same goes for vector shape tools. Until you've played with the vector shape tools for several hours, it's going to be a while before you start to perfect your skill um, beyond just the basic techniques that I'm showing you in these videos. So hopefully you learned something. I'll see you in the next video.